Hey guys, Professor Bill, Comic Book University, and I'm reading Detective Comics number 949. Basically, cut and dry, Kate and Batman, that's Batwoman and Batman, fight Colony Prime. They beat the heck out of him. He gets off a couple good shots, but he takes more than he gets. He tries to run away. Batman doesn't really even go at it with him too much. It's mostly just Kate, and eventually he winds up taking the monster serum. Now, when he takes it, he turns into some kind of a bat-like monster or whatever, and Kate shoots him with some kind of a shotgun <laughs> right in the eye. Good shot. Anyway, he flies away, says, oh, good, your father would approve. You know, maybe there's some kind of a soldier in you yet. Now, there were a couple little side scenes in here where back in the day like flashbacks they would show that when Kate was trying to hunt down and figure out who Batman was that her father was afraid that she was actually going to start following him you know meaning Batman and that she was going to start taking after him he wanted her to be a soldier he wanted her to fight the war he is only fighting crime so they kind of see a bigger picture than Batman does in that regard but you know maybe one dream is more realistic than the other in here one of the really cool parts is that you actually get to see the moment that she realized that Bruce Wayne is actually Batman because, you know, her cousin Bruce, because she shot him in the leg this one time when he found her fortress, her not fortress, her, her cave, I guess, her headquarters. And later on, a couple days ago, she met up with her cousin Bruce and he had a limp and it was barely noticeable, but she noticed it. And that's when she knew and it was like, oh, wow. So yeah, it was a cool little scene, whatever. For the most part, this doesn't do much. This is just, you know, they're they're moving on with the monster serum that was all the way back in Batman number one, uh, back in the back in 1940. Oh my God, that was that was actually the first appearance of Catwoman and the first appearance of the Joker. They also had Hugo Strange's Night of the Monster Men, or remember exactly what they called. It. They called it something to that effect, the Monster Men of Doctor Hugo Strange. Anyway, guys, this is a really good callback, and I like it enough that I'm going to give it a B minus. I'm going to continue watching this, of course. In fact, this is actually enough for me to start reading Batwoman Rebirth, issue number one, which they're claiming is on sale on the 15th of February. So, hey, you could make a good belated Valentine's Day present for your girl. Uh, either way, the next issue of Detective Comics is number 950, and that's going to be a 38-page special, and it's going to be a prologue to the League of Shadows. So let's see what we can do with that. I'm actually really excited. Anyway, guys, Professor Bell, Comic Book University, class dismissed.